Hi, okay, so this is a second video on making note sheets, and this one we're going to make a note sheet in Canva. Because I like Canva, it's cool, you can add all kind of neat stuff. So I'm going to go www.canva, it's like canvas but without the s, dot com. Um, you should already have a an account with them. If you don't, I totally recommend signing up for the free account because it's super handy. Okay, so I'm already signed in. Um, so I want to use... I want to use something that I can print if I want to, which would be like eight and a half by 11. So probably what I'm going to use is I'm going to search for resume because a resume is generally meant to be printed. So see, it says eight and a half by 11 if I look down there. So if I click on that, I get this. They have a bunch of templates. I don't care about the templates. I'm just looking for the size. So I'm going to click on blank. Okay, here we are. So now... I have to decide what I want my note sheet to look like. Generally, I've been doing things kind of with the cool, with the school color scheme, with our school colors, but let me try something new. Because we can do that, because it's Canva. Okay, background. So I'm going to just pick a background. You can leave it white. Now, if you're, if you're planning on printing this out, so like if you want to put it in a notebook or something, you could leave it white because that's going to be easier to print. The more stuff you put on here, the more pictures, the more colorful things, the harder it is and the more the harder it is to print not really harder but the more ink it uses and sometimes um, it makes it hard to see so let me i guess i'm just going to leave it white for now so i want to add some elements in here first thing is i want a big giant title up at the top and i like putting like some kind of a a box or something around it just because it's cool or i can i'll just put this ta-da i'm gonna put a paw print because we're the bulldogs I'm going to put this right up here, and I'm going to change the color because I want colors. So I'm going to click on that, and it's going to let me change. Ooh, I'm going to go this one. I'm going to make it, ooh, no, I want this one. So many colors to choose from. Okay, I'm going to use that. I'll probably change it in a minute. Okay. I'm going to go back to that. Okay. I'm going to leave it alone. There's my paw print. So now I need a title. And I'm just going to title this Canva Notes. Ooh, that's a cute one. Just going to put that in there. I'm just going to leave it right there because I'm going to put it somewhere later. Okay, because that's cute. I'll forget about it. Okay, so then I want Canva Notes. So I can just, I can put this several ways. I can put like a text and add heavy heading. I can use some of these that they already like their little font combinations that they already have. So that one's not bad. Let's see here. Ooh, let's try this. And what you do is if you pick that, then it puts it right here. What you can do is, let's see, it'll let you type. So I'm going to put notes. And then right here, that one I'm going to put camera. So that right there, so they have that linked together as one. So I'm going to pull this whole thing. Okay, put that up at the top. There we go. And you can change, see how it has like, like the notes right now is highlighted and it has this A with the little turquoise color underneath. That means you can change that color. So if I wanted to, I could change it. Maybe I'll leave that one there. I think I'm going to change the Canva though. I want to make it match my paw print. Ta-da. Ooh, I'm color coordinated. Okay, so Canva notes. If you watch the Google Slides notes, then you know that we, we put it into several sections. So the, the whole idea of this is we're making a note sheet that covers the entire topic. So this is um, especially handy if you're going to, if you want to review for tests or you just like want to have like a real quick overview. It's kind of like in English or technical writing, if you had like an executive summary, that's basically what this is. You're taking everything that you learned, you're putting it on one page so that that way when you're reviewing, you just have this one thing to look at and you're good. So what I usually put is I put like three or four different sections. Usually I have like, what is it? And why do we care? What, you know, like what's it used for? And then like a purpose basically. And then um, the details. So like if we're learning Pythagorean theorem, you might put like Pythagorean theorem and then you might put, okay, well it was invented by the Greeks who had nothing better to do. And it's about, finding the sides of a triangle, and this is the formula, and this is how we apply it. So, okay, I'm going to add some shapes here because I want to, I want to kind of, let's see, I want to break it into sections. 
they have things called layouts, like templates and stuff like that. I don't really totally want to use that. I just want these shapes. So I'm going to put, let's see. This is a good one. Put this right here. So this I might call like, what is it? I'm going to make it smaller. And maybe longer this way. So this is my what section. What? Okay. So this one I'm going to use... You could use these that are already done, or you could use you could just put heading and choose your own font. Is it? Da, da, da. Okay, so I'm gonna highlight all of this right now. It says open sans. It's just kind of plain and ugly, so I want to make it cool. What is this? What is it? I guess that work. I think that's a. Oh, I like this architect's daughter. That one's my favorite. So I'm gonna put architect's daughter. What is it? I'm going to put it right here. Better than who is it, which is what I usually say when people come to my door. Okay. Or call me on the phone. So I'm going to put that here. You can have it in the box. You can have it above the box. You can have it kind of spilling out of the box. It's totally up to you because it's your worksheet. Okay. So then I would go through and I would type, okay, well, this is a note sheet. It goes over the topic. So I'm going to put that. You can use it as a subheading or as a text, like body text. So if I put that, I'm going to put this over here. And then, so, single page of notes summarizing a topic. And over summarizing how to make a note sheet using Kim. So notice this doesn't really fit, so I'm going to change my box around. I'm going to make it narrow, and then I'm going to move it so that it fits in my little box. And notice that sometimes, like when you're moving things, you get like little dotted lines. It's to help you line things up. Okay, so next I want, I'm want i going to use this again. So rather than go back and find the element, I'm going to put Control-C. Click off here somewhere, Control-V, and it'll make a copy. So I'm going to move that over here. And I'm going to stretch this down. I'm going to put this one I'm going to call how. I'll put that right here. Again, I could change the I could change the color of that. I could do whatever I want. Um, maybe I'll add a new box. I'll put that down here. Um, make it fit. Your boxes don't have to be the same shape or the same size. You know, it's totally up to you. It's your note sheet. So the, the whole idea is to create a note sheet using Canva. You can use all these things. You can change the background. You can add pictures. You can add all kind of stuff just so that um, you can get your notes organized so that you have everything summarized on that one page. It's also helpful, like especially with math, you might want to include some kind of an example. So this down here might be an example. Or you might get rid of this camera, put the example here. Also, it's helpful to have links, so um, you can do that too. Let's see. Let me put this um, links. So I would have like a resources section. So let's see. I think I'm pretty sure I can add links in here too. Yeah. So if I if I highlight the stuff that I want to link, so like let's say I want. Um, Canva website. I'm already on the Canva website, but just as a, if I want that to be one of my references, I'm going to put that right here. Then what I do is I highlight all of it. So if I, I can click and drag and highlight, or I can just click three times. One, two, three. Highlights everything. And then if I go to these three dots right here, and right here is link. So I put link, and then it tells you, okay, we'll enter the link that you want. So I want www.canva. Com. I'm going to apply that, and that gives me, this is now a link. So users, like if, if you're, if you have this electronically, you can click on that link. Now, if this is only to print out, then what you would want to do is you would want to type out the website instead, because links won't help you if it's a physical copy. The other option would be to create a QR code. You could put a QR code in, and then you could scan that. Um, 
which is also helpful. Like if you if you had a Google if you created a Google site for all of your notes, you could always have like a little summary page and then have a QR code for the full notes. Um, so really, I mean, there's kind of no end to what you can do. But this is a basic, like just how to start out making a note sheet in Canva. Uh, 